exciting to be in Australia, having just made Australia. Other projects in line, you know, there's Wolverine, and, and I'll be doing a couple of oil or uh, Boys from Oz show. I think you might enjoy it. It's a very big departure, isn't it, from being Peter Allen on The Boy from Oz to X-Men Wolverine. That's quite a remarkable quantum. <laughs> soon to come out, Australia, which is of course a Baz Luhrmann production. Um, I sometimes wonder about Australia. It was a film that was once called Eucalyptus, which uh, Russell Crowe was going to film. Bellingen, I think Bellingen. it was. Bellingen. Bellingen. They had financial problems and they had a lot of bad luck and they uh, call it the Eucalyptus Curse. They're still having to refilm parts of Australia, even with Baz Luhrmann's magic that he has. What, do, do you think there might be a curse to the film? Well, actually I'd say it's not so much a curse as a sign of the quality that Baz demands from his films. He's probably one of the last great auteurs. You could rate him with Hitchcock or Orson Welles. And of course, being an auteur, he's a perfectionist. And Baz does what it takes. We saw it with Moulin Rouge, Romeo and Juliet, and even Strictly Ballroom, which uh, originally I was approached to be in. So, <laughs> so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to encapsulate what Baz does, which is a perfectionism. He's never happy, but I think by him not being happy, the audience ends up happy, and Hugh's happy too. What's it like being on set and having a romantic backdrop and kissing Nicole Kidman in that famous picture with um, the famous extra um, St. Fletcher riding behind you in a bicycle built for two, bringing yep. a thunderstorm? What, what was it like having that romantic scene? Well, I have a lot of romantic scenes in my picture. Rachel Weiss from the Mummy movies, The Fountain with me. I had Halle Berry in both X-Men films and movie Swordfish. And of course, Nicole. I actually sang at Keith and Nicole's wedding. I performed Tenderfield Saddler, you'd, which you'd know is a Peter Allen song, because it is a Peter Allen song, you know. Time as a traveler, Tenderfield Saddler. Mm -hmm. There you go, small sample. Don't ask me to do the Olivia Newton-John parts. Uh, no, no, Olivia only does uh, work with John Travolta, who of course I made Swordfish with. No, she did it with um, Peter Allen's Real Ghost. She did, did she? Yeah. Wow. Well, I've never performed with Peter's Ghost, but... Jeez, uh, Satan, you really know about these pictures. Yeah, well, the bits that you don't know, maybe I, don't, I know, which means that I probably don't know that much, but anyway. <laughs> I bet she won't be singing it with her ex-husband, though. <laughs> Yeah, he's in uh, Baja California in Mexico, but... Yeah. Uh, did you bring your cologne with you? What are you doing with Colin's backpack? Uh, he lent it to me. He's a good bloke. Um, you know, he actually looks a bit like me. He lets me use his backpack. Oh, well, you know, Peter and Sylvester Stallone got to use his backpack. I know, it's, it's a bit of a... There we Shit. go. Now. I just wanted to demonstrate that you probably thought this is the sort of accidents we have with cologne all the time. And it still survived. I hope so. Let's see. Simply you. Simply you. Have a bit on your hands, eh? Oh, it's indestructible. Yep. It's a new cologne I've developed. So it's got a bit of magic power in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You want me to do the hand, don't you? You want the hand, you want the Hugh hand. It's yes, like, yes. <sighs> simply you, simply Hugh. 
overseen all quality control and all that. So I guess that's a pre-hue example and uh, Australian eucalyptus oil in keeping with my Australia film and it's all Australia made so that's it yes I've written a few paperbacks and I've been a cowboy as well um, did you really ride that semi that uh, road train in paperback cowboy was that really you driving would you like of course it was you <laughs> well, well, we're now on Hugh's Tube and cheers to all you YouTubers and uh, I'll see you in Australia.